My name is Mike Sergalski. I'm the captain of the train ship state of Michigan. I've been with the college for 25 years. Uh, the first 23 of which I was an instructor at the Maritime Academy. In the last couple of years, I've been capped, full-time captain. I graduated from high school in 1976 and I went to Great Lakes Maritime Academy. I sailed commercially for about 15 years and I decided that opening came up here and I started here in 1995. The Maritime Academy started in 1969. And from 1969 until about 2014 or 15, it was a uh, associate's degree program. So a student would come here for three years and most of our students, their focus was to get the license, the license that allowed them to work on a ship. Uh, in 2012, the uh, state Congress passed a bill and Governor Snyder signed it that allowed community colleges to offer bachelor's degree. And uh, the Maritime Academy through NMC was the first program in the state of Michigan to offer a bachelor's degree. So now our students come here for four years and they graduate with a bachelor's degree in marine transportation and the license has expanded a lot over the years too. Uh, currently a deck student graduates with a third mate, any ocean license, any tonnage, and unique to Great Lakes, the pilotage which allows them to operate commercial ships on the Great Lakes. So our students can work on the ocean or they can work on the Great Lakes. Out of the six state maritime academies in the United States, this is the only one that does that. 60% of our students are right out of high school, and the other 40%, I would say, are non-traditional students. So if a person were to come to us with a bachelor's degree or higher, um, we can push them through the program in three years. If a student comes right out of high school, it's a four-year program. We started working with the culinary program. And what we do is we set up internships for culinary students that would like to pursue working on a ship. They've had some students be very successful. I can assure you a student, a culinary student that works on a ship is going to make a lot more money than any student that can work in any restaurant, I would say pretty much unless New York City or Chicago. Um, it's a very, very good job. It's a career if you want to make it a career. So we take a professional chef with us and a culinary student. So between the two of them, it provides a really good background for the food service on the boat. I, I think the uh, package that we offer upon graduation, the job opportunities are huge. And again, you're not limited to by tonnage or anything. You can go anywhere you want to go, you can go. I don't know that most people realize that out of you know, small town Traverse City, Michigan, that that's available, but it is. The ship was, was built and it still is owned by the federal government. Uh, the vessel was originally built for the U.S. Navy. Uh, it was in service for, with the Navy for about 10 years. Uh, they used it for surveillance. Uh, there were about a dozen boats just like that built. And that particular ship used to be called the Persistent. And the Persistent, I have the log books to prove it, that's been all over the world, literally. And its mission was that it would listen to and record the sounds that uh, Russian submarines made. And then the Pentagon put together, I suppose, a library with those sounds so that if a U.S. submarine hears some kind of a noise, they can categorize, all right, we know what that is. They've got it on file somewhere. So that vessel did it for 10 years, uh, and they decided to go with a different style of boat. They still do the same thing, but that class of ship was taken out of that service and uh, it was made available to us, uh, Great Lakes Maritime Academy and Northwestern Michigan College in 2001. We celebrated our 50th anniversary December of last year and the head of the Maritime Administration, who's a presidential appointment, came here for that celebration. Gave us an award letter saying congratulations on 50 years of good service. And the other thing, the other accolades, we've had 100% employment for at least the last 20 years. Most of them find the work that they're looking for. Most of our students incur debt like everybody else going to college. The big difference here is you can pay that off pretty fast. When you go to work on a ship, you're not keeping an apartment. You're not making a house payment. You, we literally have students go to work and within the first year, it, their debt is gone. But this is a program where you can really make up some ground and move ahead financially if you want. 
come down, walk through the building. The, the building itself is a work of art. Uh, you walk around here, the hallways are sort of like a little bit of a museum with the artwork that's hanging on the walls. And in the summertime, this is probably the most beautiful places you can be in Traverse City.